Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Wager Talk, and I'm bringing you the Week 5 NFL Ratchet game. For the uninitiated, this is the bottom of the barrel game, the ugliest of ugly ducklings, the sick of the litter. Somehow the NFL stuck England with this week's bad boy, sending the New York Jets and the Atlanta Falcons across the pond over to London for a matchup between two one and three teams. So even though the winless Lions and the slumping Vikings are playing and the Texas are hosting, the Texans are hosting the one and three New England Patriots on the heels of a 40 nothing loss to Buffalo, this encounter at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium gets the nod for the ratchet game, particularly since we're all going to indulge. If you're on the West Coast, there's no sleeping through this one. Pull an all-nighter if you're in Vegas, then pull up for breakfast with rookie head coaches Robert Salah and Arthur Smith. One of them is coming back across the Atlantic with a two and three football team and all the hope in the world that 2021 won't be a total disaster. The Falcons come off blowing an eight point lead with under four minutes to go and lost in regulation against the Washington football team, squandering a three touchdown game from Cordero Patterson. When it rains and pours, so Matt Ryan had to dispute reports that he wants out of Atlanta, which tells you how much fun Smith is having in year one down in the ATL. The Titans have missed their former offensive coordinator mightily, opening just two and two after becoming the Jets' first victim in overtime last Sunday. That's right, a New York upset in London over the Dirty Birds will help match last season's win total for Salah and the slumping Jets who haven't been in the playoffs in over a decade. The Jets did blow a 24-17 lead with only 16 seconds left, despite Tennessee missing starting wide receivers A.J. Brown and Julio Jones and they picked up a win instead of a tie when Randy Bullock missed a 49-yarder with 19 seconds remaining in the extra session. So that's good fortune for them. The return of Jamison Crowder did give New York a much-needed boost in the passing game, where rookie number two pick Zach Wilson has struggled, matching Geno Smith's dubious rookie record of throwing eight interceptions over his first four career starts. Between him, Corey Davis, and second-year burner Denzel Mims, rookie Elijah Moore as well, the Jets do have a more talented receiving core than they ever bothered to put around Sam Darnold, uh, so they're at least making progress in that regard. Uh, I think that leads us to our play on this particular game, and lucky for all you kids, it's one we feel pretty adamant about, so it'll be a client play. I like it at three or four percent. I haven't decided yet, Um, but you know, it's it's, the ratchet plays are two and one right now in these videos, and we're looking at the over 46 to clear that bar and improve to three and one since we think the Brits will get a jolly good show in the latest installment of the NFL International Series. They've been playing these games in England since 2007, and there's been a fairly even distribution of overs and unders. The low side is actually five and two in London since 2018, but the outliers both occurred at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which is where this one will be played, and that just opened in 2019. Weather conditions are going to be clear for Sunday in London, and I think the total, which opened at 44, was set too low. Atlanta's defense has surrendered 32 points or more in three of its four games this season, and although the under opened in 3-0 in Jets games prior to that past weekend win over the Titans, uh, Wilson finally looks like he's settling in. Crowder's debut after dealing with COVID protocols and a groin injury made a huge difference, and rookie Michael Carter delivered the first rushing touchdown of the season for the Jets in Week 4. Don't get it twisted. Ratchet games can still be fun. They're just ugly on the outside. Look for both teams to break the 20-point mark in a higher scoring game than expected and hammer the over on 46 points in Jets-Falcons over in London. For Wager Talk, I'm Tony Mejia.